NASA is planning to go to Mars, but there's some issues that need to be fixed. Like, how are people going to survive in a small confined place while they're on Mars? And NASA wanted to find out. So NASA locked a bunch of test subjects, volunteers, into a simulated Mars base. And now they're going to test for 368 days, basically an entire year of time inside this um, simulated Mars base, whether or not they can survive in close proximity with each other, doing like similar tasks, and whether or not this mission would be successful on like a social level, Mm -hmm. let alone being on the harsh Mars planet. Hmm, you know what? So, you told oh. me about this story. Yes. And my initial thought was, didn't Mr. Beast already do this video? Really? No, he put a guy on a farm <laughs> for, I believe it was like a year. Really? I think so. And I Dang. thought, and I was, no, but I'm just kidding. That's crazy. I actually think or, he did do that video, but uh-huh. yeah. I know they have like the ones where it's like, oh, first to leave this car, or like last to leave the car wins the car, or like last to leave the island keeps the island. Yes, no, but but yeah, he had a he had a farming one. He had a farmer that did that. But honestly, NASA doing this is um uh, that's a little wild. But I mean, it makes, but it sense. makes yeah, it, it does make, make sense. sense. Yeah, I I think it's wild because the um the square footage of the place they're gonna be at is one thousand seven hundred feet square feet. Oh, wow. So it's not the biggest spot. And this is where they have, where they're going to work, where they're going to sleep, where they're going to cook. It's like a house. Yeah, it's like, but it's for all the people. So they're going to have their individual, yeah, yeah, individual like living quarters. But it's still going to be a very close-knit community for one whole year. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, uh... Would you sign up for this? Um, I mean, if I get to go to Mars, yes. If that makes no, I sense. I mean, well, okay. I mean, I mean, or, or if you are just not going to go to Mars, like to no, help with the study, I don't think so. I think it would be like it'd be a lot of time. I have work. <laughs> that would like be a, your work. That would, yeah, okay, yeah, I guess if that's my that's work, then job. I, I think that'd be fine. I guess I to think, be there for a whole year. I don't know. I think it's a lot of. Com- it's a huge commitment. I do wonder it's, it's a what year of your life. <laughs> yeah, I do wonder what type of um, extracurricular stuff, like extracurriculars, like. Do they have access to the internet? You know, other things that exactly weren't um, mentioned in the article. If you do know extra stuff, please comment down below. But if I wasn't without, like, with the internet or something to, like, do or keep my brain stimulated for the whole time, I think it'd be pretty difficult because it's, like, I'd want to know what's happening in the world. Like, yeah, just in general, because, like, imagine if you're on the Mars, you're, like, so, like, thousands of miles away in space on a different planet. And you'd want to know what is happening on Earth. You know, um, yeah, I would want to know. I think it's like, I mean, you would have people around you, which is good if you can mm-hmm. connect with them and talk yeah. to them. But yes, I think if the feeling of knowing exactly what's happening in the outside world is like, at least to me, it's it's uh, somewhat important. Mm-hmm. And knowing that what's happening outside, because I don't want to come back a year later and be like, what just happened? Something big just happened? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's very, it would just, everything would just take me by surprise. So this kind of reminded me in a different sense of the lady who isolated herself in a cave for like a year, I think, or if not longer. Really? Yeah, like with no human contact whatsoever. Mm. And what and no, I mean, she found it pretty nice, apparently. Oh, yeah. I think, they would just bring her food and stuff. I think it takes a special type of person to be able to do something like that, to be honest. Mm. I wonder, yeah. I, at some point, I think you'd either be like too fed up and like go one way or the other way where you'd you figure out that like no you really enjoy this and it's a great thing or you just miss human contact or like um being able to go on the outside world yeah but this being a controlled environment with other people does mm-hmm. change it um but you know what it kind of did remind me of it reminded me of uh the martian the book oh the yeah, movie, yeah yeah the martian 
Yeah. Um, the the main the main character, uh, Mark Watney, I think mm. he's he's stuck in Mars for I think about a year, and it just uh, a lot of stuff that happens to him, and I think uh, it's like the growing con- crops and stuff. Yeah, growing crops, uh, missing the outside world, and then having to. Yeah, I think it just takes a toll on a person. It's mm-hmm. like it's it's very evident that it does. So, I'll just leave it with this: is that I don't know if I would do it. It's a long time. I think time. It, it was a long time, but you'd be one of the first people to to test it out. So I think, in terms of like, um, I think I you know what? No, I would do it. I just you know what? Because it'd be kind of cool to, to say you did it. Yeah, I think. See um, if you could do it. Yeah, I think that it would be. I think it would be very cool. But I, at the same time, I think it's like, I think if it is, if you are doing this to better um, society, better, yeah, society in a way, I think that's that's very important and that's very good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just the timeline. If if it's too long, I mean, it's it's legitimately yeah. a year of your life that you yeah. are you are missing out, and you could be missing out on like important dates mm-hmm. or things happening. So it's just it's just a long time. They're missing out on Mars experiences. They're here on Earth. You know, Earth experiences. They they even li- missed a whole lifetime of Mars experiences. Yeah, and you know what else they're gonna be missing out on? Make sure to like and subscribe in this video. <laughs> okay. Missing out on tomorrow's video. Yes, yes. We usually put out. Um, we talk about different things on this channel. Mm-hmm. We bring up uh, different news topics. If you guys like that stuff, uh, make sure you like and subscribe. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So. And we appreciate your guys' comments, and we would want to know more. Yeah, if you guys have anything else to add to this. It, all of this is a conversation, and we're more than willing to listen. <laughs> yeah. Or not. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay.